Science. Science. God, I needed that. Ooh, careful. It's a little uh, slippery there. I wouldn't want somebody to fall. Hey, uh, welcome everyone to a very special episode of Coffee with Big Cat entitled It's Science with Dr. Science. It's Science with Dr. Science is brought to you as a very special episode in partnership with the Attorney General's office, my lawyers at Ampersand and Ampersand, the Multnomah County Sheriff's Department, the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms and Explosive, the National Institute of Standards and Technology, and the Condo Board. This episode of Coffee with the Big Cat, It's Science with Dr. Science, could almost be looked upon as a community service. So, what's the topic? Microorganisms. Oh, yeah, very funny. Microorganisms, because of the, the thing. The thing. Okay, okay. All right, fine, kids. We're going to talk about microorganisms. Well, first of all, first and foremost, microorganisms are very, very small, which is good, because if you could see them, it would freak you out, man. Like, say, for example, if you could see the things on the ends of your eyelashes, that would really freak you out, man. Like, I feel like I can see them right now. Like, or, for example, molds and spores and bacteria and viruses. If you could see that stuff with your naked eye, say, for example, if you were to make a, if you were in Big Cat Labs and you were to create an experiment where you created a paramecium that was two and a half feet wide, well, that would probably fry your brain. It would probably irreparably fry your brain. I'm not saying. What I'm saying is, kids, don't, don't look in a microscope. Because when you look down in a microscope, things look back. And if you're a fundamentalist, you should definitely not look in a microscope. Because if you look in a microscope, you can see evolution take place in the course of an afternoon. So don't do that. Same thing with a telescope. Don't look out in a telescope if you're a fundamentalist because then you'll be able to see by the colors of the stars that they're all moving away from each other. And you can tell by looking at the angles that these things are a lot farther away than 6,000 years ago. Now, why is that? Why does evolution appear through a microscope to be perfectly realistic and occurring on a day-to-day -day basis? And why does, is the Big Bang also visible, not to the naked eye, but visible to the eye? Well, that's because, well, because Satan, obviously. These are jazz hands. These are science hands. It's science. Dr. Science. Big Cat Studios. Microorganisms are icky, except for yeast. Yeast is pretty cool. Check it out, man. Yeast eats sugar and pisses beer. That's, that's a useful microorganism. If only I could teach it to do laundry and shit pizza. That'd be an organism. That'd be an organism. <laughs> Take you in the woods behind my house, show you an organism you never forget. Ah. And hey, don't look through telescopes, and I'll tell you why. Because, well, well, first of all, telescopes and microscopes, they obviously have devil juice in them. When they manufacture a telescope, they put a little drop of devil juice in it. And then, 
If you look through a telescope, you might start asking some questions about some stuff you see up there, like, uh, like, oh, those Reagan-era SDI satellites. Strategic Defense Initiative, Star Wars, they called it. That was supposed to be some satellites that would fly around the Earth and use laser beams to shoot Soviet missiles out of the air. And uh, a bunch of us said, hey, that's impossible. But they launched them anyways, and they're out there. And it's still impossible. But if you're looking at them through your telescope, you might notice that those laser beams, instead of being pointed to down towards the Earth, where they could conceivably shoot a Soviet intercontinental ballistic missile out of the air, they are in fact pointed outwards towards space. Golly, why is that? Who were they really actually designed to shoot at? And how come some of them are kind of burnt up and messed up, like something shot back? Ked, ask that question. Ask that question. And, uh, you know, see what happens to your grants. See what happens to your funding. See what happens with your tax audits. See what happens with your tenure track position. See what happens with everything. What I'm trying to do here on It's Science with Dr. Science is I want to reach the children. As ever, I do it for the children. And I want to find that little spark of curiosity. And I want to extinguish it as quickly as possible because it doesn't lead anywhere good, man. This has been a very special episode of Coffee with Big Cat. It's Science with Dr. Science, brought to you by the Attorney General's Office and by the makers of Gold Bond Medicated Powder. For those really itchy ankles underneath your electronic uh, monitoring devices. <sighs> Some shit like that. That ought to hold a little bastards. <laughs>